Hi everyone, welcome to Apfa Craft Online Tutorial Training Class. In today's class, we'll be learning how to make 3D fabric applique. So I'm going to be showing you the items we'll be needing. Okay, I already cut out the fabric I'm going to use, and then I would be using paper stay. Okay, as well as fusible interfacing, hemming glue scissors and so that's it let's get started let's get right into it the first thing to do is to place your fabric on the table then put your interfacing over it and then pick up your iron okay pick up your iron and iron it okay you begin to press make sure you use a very good steam iron that way it can fuse properly you can have the best you know you have to make sure that you fuse the interfacing to the fabric properly so you can stick on it very well then once you're done fusing the interfacing on the fabric the next thing you need to do is to cut it out you cut out the fabric from the interfacing so watch me do that right now After the first layer, I would put it on the table again and add another layer of the same fusible interfacing. This will give it more structure because it really needs to be structured. That's what makes it 3D. That's what makes it stand properly. And it's not just the fusible interfacing we'll be using. We would also add other things. Just follow along and watch how I go about it. So I'm cutting out again, same way I did it the first time. I'll make sure that I cut it out, cut it properly. Note that I've not cut out the shapes yet. I'm just applying my interfacing to the whole fabric. Eventually, we'll cut out the shape. So you see how it looks like. It's really very beautiful, guys. You will love this. This will give a total new outlook to your dresses. You will really love it so the next thing now is i want to apply the paper stay and before applying the paper steel i would put my hemming gum on the fusible interfacing i already cut out some strips so i'm applying it as you can see i'm applying it i would arrange them very closely to each other okay see it's very easy guys just cut it out and I put it on the interfacing then after you've cut it out you can now place your paper stay over the hemming glue make sure you place the side that has the gum even though the paper stay doesn't really stick well that's why i'm using the hemming glue to stick both fusible fleece and then the paper stay together very easily okay you have a stronger job and then to finish up you have to cover it up with your fusible interfacing again you can add another two or three layers depending on how you want your job to come out and then what i'm doing right now is cutting out the shape okay you can see now i'm cutting out the shape already now watch me do it guys watch me I'm done cutting one of it okay now watch the other one see how they look you can arrange it any way you want and I'm going to show you how to put it on your fabrics use your glue gun you can also tack it directly you can paint it and tack it if you don't want to use the glue gun of course it is more secured when you tack it but you can glue it and tack as well it depends on what you want to do actually and you see how very beautiful it is. I already added some to the to the dress, the Victorian corset dress that I made with moulage. You can see the fabric moulage. That's the three. That's the advanced draping on the side. I used a material called organdi to make this draping, and it's so beautiful. It's very beautiful. Continue watching. You see at the end of the video what it looks like. It's so beautiful. Just take your time be patient and careful so as not to get all 
because I actually got myself injured in the process of making this video but the outcome is so sweet so beautiful so so lush and unique thank you for watching subscribe to my channel bye